So I got these two wild puppies about a week and a half ago. If you want to see what our morning routine is like, this video is for you. Good boys. This is the start of our morning routine. I wake them up, take them out on the grass, go to the bathroom, and then they're awake for the day. So we're about to go training. So we'll have a little gentle out the front. Oh, here's a chilling on the bar. I plan to post regular videos on how their training is progressing. So if you want to stay tuned on that, I recommend subscribing to the channel so you get all the notifications. I've pulled up at this area here. There's a really big car park. There's a pretty controlled environment. I know the area. There's some foot tra traffic a little bit later, but at this hour of the morning, we're pretty good. We'll do it on this uh, hard surface, so it's going to be easier for them to find the kibble because they've only done one session at Pat's shop. First, I'm going to set up the camera gear. So what I'm going to do is get each pup out individually, and we're going to do a marker loading session here on the car park. So easy for them to see the kibble, minimal sort of distractions. Give them a bit of a, a chance to explore around this uh, pretty big car park. If they choose to get a little feisty and destroying my pant, then I'll, I'll actually grab out this rag here, do a little bit of a bite session if it looks like they want to be satisfied with that. I do plan on doing that a little bit later in the day. If they show me that they want to do it now, then I'm happy to give that to them because they're showing me what sort of drives are turned on at this hour of the day for them. In the future, what I'll be doing is uh, tracking will be the first thing to do in the morning, some bite sessions after that. But right now, let's see what they're offering me and that's going to help me set their windows of uh, opportunity. Stick around and uh, check out the sessions. Oh, you'd be sleepy. Now, I don't need a leash in this session. They're not really ready to be using leash pressure in this way. Plus, their collars are kind of big and they're the smallest ones that I could get. What I like to put the leash on for, they can immediately start getting used to just there being a line attached and it's not meaning anything. A lot of my equipment, I want to mean nothing to them. But then there's other equipment I want to be very specific. So, <laughs> you can probably hear Blue Collar's not really happy that he's still in there and his brother's not. They've only done this a few times where they're out individually. Uh, it'll get easier as we go. Right now, that's expected. This is gonna be our session now. You can see a little puppy here. He's uh, wanting to, to do something. He knows I've got food. I haven't developed their windows fully yet. At this stage, it's not super important. I'm also wanna be exploring what kind of drive they're gonna be offering me at different times of the day and things like that. Ooh, nice buddy. Good boy. Now he's done one uh, clicker session with me, but you can see there he, he recognized it and turned around. Nice buddy, good boy. Oh, oh yes, use those back legs. Oh boy, nice buddy. All right, talking to them, showing them that they did good, engaging with them, oh, good boy. All right, to me, that's part of the session. <laughs> nice, buddy. So that time I wanted him to pursue me a little bit. I wanted him to go like, hey, hey, you've been clicking every time before. Like, hey, man, I want what you have. A little bit of pursuit. When he comes up closer and sort of is pushing on me a little bit. Oh, that was bad timing. I thought he was going to jump up, but that's okay. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, buddy. So, shit happens. You know, that was a perfectly bad timing right where he sat because I don't want my dogs to sit and, and wait. I want them to be pushing. If you're training a, a pet dog, perhaps, where you want them to be very respectful, have manners and, and sit before people pat them and sit before they get their food and all those sort of things, absolutely nothing wrong with that but it's not what I want or need from these puppies. Them being pushy for me and pushing for what I have is gonna aid me later down the track in everything that they're gonna be learning and the attitude I want out of these guys. Good boy. Oh, ho, ho. All right, I'll, I'll bend down, give him a little bit of pat 
And if he goes around and sees that treat pouch, I might not give so much sort of pressure or resistance to kind of push him out of it too much. He's not necessarily ready for that. But I'm gonna be like, oh, oh no. Oh, I didn't want you to get this. Oh dear, right? And he's like, he's pretty committed to trying to get it. So I'll let him get a little bit more. And then I go, oh. All right, so that's a really good thing. They're being pushy. They think they can steal. <laughs> they're learning to feel like they're a bit of a thug. And that's, that's exactly what we need later with them. So what I'm gonna do now is bring out that rag that I spoke about earlier. As you can see, he's willing to bite things. So he's highly likely to, to want to play a game. Nice catch, buddy. Good boy. Oh, 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 oh nice. Your brother's not happy. He doesn't know it's his turn next, eh? So now I'm just gonna let him explore. I want him to explore and I want him to explore away from me. I can still stand on the leash whenever I need, but I want him to feel free and to actually have the, the confidence, but also the, the desire and the curiosity to go and explore other things. So basically everything that I did here with red collar, we're about to do with blue collar. Now that we're home, I'm gonna get them both out, uh, take them both into the backyard and then grab them some water. I've clearly woken both of them up. Red just sat up as I moved the camera. They were both resting, which is exactly what we want inside the vehicle. So, it's red. Hey guys, let's push down. We'll be gonna have to come down soon. So we've got a couple of dogs on the other side. So I'm going to bring each dog in um, individually in box. Good boy. In box. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. So the boys are in the kennels, as you can see there, and Genta's just here getting all the pats. But basically, they'll have a little bit of a, a kip now. I'll let them out, go to the toilet and then they'll go in there for a few hours and have a pretty solid sleep after that. In the coming days and weeks, the training will begin to develop as they begin to progress. If you have any questions, suggestions, or things that you want to see, leave it in the comments. And if you want to see any other videos we have, check out Pat Stewart's channel here.